Sometimes it can feel like political districts are so lopsided, one party seems to win every election. This is no accident. Politicians on both sides of the aisle diligently draw up electoral maps across the country to make sure their party has a better shot of winning. This partisan gerrymandering has led to some interesting shaped districts, to say the least. Gerrymandering is the act of drawing electoral districts in a way that gives a political advantage to one group over another. It's a practice dating back to the beginnings of our nation and gets its odd name from one of our founding fathers, Elbridge Gerry. A signer of the Declaration of Independence, Gerry became governor of Massachusetts in 1810, where he fought tooth and nail with Federalists at the time. Until Elbridge Gerry's tenure, electoral districts followed county border lines. In 1812, he signed a law that redrew districts which overwhelmingly benefited his Democratic Republican Party. Federalists were livid and joked that one of the oddly shaped districts looked like a salamander, a gerrymander, as poet Richard Alsop called it. Over time, the term morphed into gerrymandering. Gerrymandering continues to this day, and both major parties engage in it. The effect is that some communities, often minority communities, are split into multiple districts, dampening the power of their vote. It's also one of many reasons why some voters believe their vote doesn't matter. So what can be done about it? In 2019, the Supreme Court ruled, essentially, that gerrymandering is a state issue and is not up to the federal government to resolve. States are required to redraw their districts with the census every 10 years in order to best ensure the one person, one vote rule, a principle that any person's vote should not be worth more than another. Some states employ independent, nonpartisan redistricting commissions to get the job done. Other reforms include prohibiting irregularly shaped districts or districts that split up communities. A study by the Washington Post found that maps drawn by nonpartisan groups were generally more symmetrical. Unfortunately, those in charge of drawing these districts are often unwilling to give up that power without a fight. Voters in Missouri, and Michigan recently passed ballot measures creating independent commissions for redistricting, but Republican-held legislatures have passed laws restricting their effectiveness. So while some states are working to make the electoral process more fair for voters, it's unlikely that we'll see nationwide reform on the subject anytime soon. What do you think redistricting should look like? <laughs>